Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a reaction video to Fate Grand Carnival second season PV and this is uh, like you know out this has been out for I think one day and um, I'm quite excited to check this out. I've already reacted to the previous two episodes of Fate Grand Carnival. It's already on my channel and it was fantastic fate grand carnival is a really great place to see all the servants that you love who probably won't get uh, official animation you know because they are no way uh, involved with the main story so it's, it's a great thing like you know that they are making these ovas where we can see these characters being animated them talking and all that like you know stuff that they do so I'm really excited to check this out. I'm not sure what you know new characters they're going to show us, but I'm quite excited, looking forward to what new servants that this season is going to have. I'm guessing they're going to show us about that in the PV. And uh, let's see what this uh, teaser or this PV brings and what new servants we're going to see. So, okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to react to this first and then I'm going to talk about it and i'll be linking down the original video in the description box you can check it out if you haven't and um, yeah let's get started and i doubt there's any english subtitles here so i'll have to use my weak powers to actually <laughs> understand um what they're telling in japanese um i can understand japanese but not like proficiently but i might be able to make out what they're saying so let's try you know at least so yeah without further ado let's get started so all right, let's start this video. Here we go. FGC Fate Grand Carnival. Oh, Black the... <laughs> the Pirate King? What? マスターが欲しかったのは私のスキルだったんだ。わあ。三時間半後もよろしく。What is this? Okay, I'm going to talk about. <laughs> They're basically rebelling because they're. Oh my god. これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ
like what do you call it it shows us like it shows the lack of what do you call it attention we give to our low rated servants who usually don't have that much good skills for example uh, you know like th there obviously there are a few low rated servants which we lo use a lot like georges um you know uh, chris hans anderson um Jiang gong and who else um just a few of them as Shakespeare. We also use Shakespeare and Mozart quite a bit as well. Leonidas, you know, these characters, Arash, uh, these characters we use a lot. But I'm guessing most of the other characters, for example, as we can see, Kid Gil, Gilderay's Blackbeard, we don't really use them that much. So, is that what's happening that they're showing us that? And, <laughs> okay, let me just kind of listen to it again. Like, I have to listen to. Uh, it properly because as I said like you know there's no subtitles I need to okay here it is Edward Teach okay he's saying that uh, before I used to be called as the pirate king I'm guessing this obviously a one piece reference so <laughs> I don't know I think so um wait what Oh, they're saying that uh, in Caldea, all that was waiting for him, for Blackbeard, was the ranking system of the, 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 the star, the rarity ranking system, the, the, the harsh reality of that, like the competition or something. Okay. Gilderays is saying that using, uh, okay. Using uh, servants and fighting efficiently, I think using strong servants and fighting efficiently will uh, help our master a lot more. I realized master only wanted me for my skill. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 just a sec. Who? Marvin Arash and <laughs> Waver. Oh my god. <laughs> and Waver, like, we can see, like, Waver, like. But then Waver kind of looks like this always, you know, like, with the wrinkles and stuff. Like, I was going to say, like, he looks very, like, you know, like, overworked or something. <laughs> okay. Here it is, like, look at this, like, all the farming servants, Nidokris, <laughs> Arash. <laughs> Gudaku is saying that, like, best of luck for the next three and a half hours, and Marsh is like, oh. Is that golden apples? I think so, isn't it? Marsh is handing out the golden apples, oh my god. This is brilliant, what the hell? Marsh is ho handing out the golden apples that we use for like this is realistic like I also have found for like not three and a half hours that's like quite a long time one two hours like you can you know continuously using golden apples and just using the same servants over and over again <laughs> oh my god and then there's this music this emotional music <laughs> I'm not sure if this is copyrighted it must be oh my god I might have to mute this Ah, uh, anyways. We have the pride of heroic spirits and the tenacity of a heroic spirit as well. It's, it's, I think Blackbeard is saying something like that. We'll have to grab our tomorrow with our own hands. My god, Blackbeard with his speech. <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing all the other lower rated servants that we barely use are like rebelling or something, something like that. They're mad that we don't use them and we just like keep using all the other servants and overwork them or something. <laughs> okay, Blackbeard is like the main person in this, uh, in the next season, I'm guessing. Okay, this is coming out in the, in the next month. That means 13th, Wednesday. Okay, that's quite uh, soon. So, yeah, nice. <laughs> Taiga stopped us. 
and then in the next scene now here it is like we can see another section here where we can see that H K is a bit frustrated because master doesn't <laughs> pay attention to her anymore i don't know what the hell gudako is thinking but i'll never do that like you know like erishkigal always first priority erishkigal ishtar you know all the ring faces always top at the top of my what you call it, list my ranking whatever you can call it so that's never going to happen for me <laughs> like bad bad very bad gudako like uh, here it is like i feel like master has been um uh, uh, master has been not paying attention to me have been not yeah something like that has been cold to me for quite a while <laughs> maybe she's tired of me <laughs> okay now what happens okay what what is this i don't i'm unable to sava tube what sava tube oh is that like a other thing of YouTube, I'm guessing. Okay, Doomzuit, I think that's her, his name. What you're lacking now is appeal power. Oh my god, oh, look at Osakabe Himian's <laughs> views. I think that's the views, yeah. And she's also verified, nice. <laughs> okay. What's most important for an heroic spirit is. What? What? This is like... Okay, I, I'm unable to understand what he's saying at that section. But something like, it must be something like, you know... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so Eshke says I'll be debut debuting in SabaTube or YouTube, whatever. And I'm guessing they're like having like a... Uh, <laughs> What do you call it? A YouTube uh, battle or whatever. Not battle, but kind of like a competition <laughs> between each other. Like Osakabe Hime and Eshkigal. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Uh, versus. There's also written versus. Oh, they're getting donated <laughs> QP. Well, that makes sense, you know. And oh my god, we can see Moriarty here as well. Like in the previous section, he kind of like made Lancelot, uh, you know. Like told, like what do you call it? Uh, weird stuff to Lancelot, and Lancelot messed up in front of Marsh. And I think like someone mentioned, like, a lot of people mentioned it to me in the comment section that this uh, Moriarty is kind of like a parody of uh, I can't remember what they said. Like some old, you know, gentleman. Like there's like a thing, like you know, show that came in Japan a lot, uh, quite a while ago, that where that person, a bartender, would used to tell, like you know. Uh, would listen to people's um, problems and would give them solutions which would usually work in weird and like you know uh, <laughs> weird ways and they'd usually you know wouldn't work by the end of it and they'll get into more problems or something I think he's it's like called something like laughing salesman no laughing bartender or something like that I can't remember but I'm, I'm guessing Moiety is doing the same thing to Charles Babbage here I'm guessing something related to um, Frankenstein because obviously we know Frankenstein and Moriarty you know Frankenstein Moriarty and Babbage they're kind of like a what do you call it a, a, kind of like a team <laughs> where Moriarty like wants like you know Frankenstein to call him dad or something and Babbage is also there so I'm guessing it's something related to uh, Frankenstein but you know like okay <coughs> okay um Wait, who is this? I can't recognize this. Okay, we can see that Dante is stranded in a island. All right, and that's it. And it's kind of like uh, broken up into two sections. I can see. And is this like going to be like two episodes again? Like one episode will be this, where we are going to see waivers, like you know, and their rebellion. And the next episode will be like the whole battle of Ashkigal between. Eshkigal and um, Osakabe Hime. It must be something like that. So, fantastic teaser. Oh my god. Ah, this is too realistic, you know? And I love it. So, I'm really looking forward to this. And I'm definitely going to react to this. This is insane. I, I'm loving this whole concept of them actually, like, you know, like. <laughs> 
like they know what is going on like you know what what us the masters actually do and they're kind of animating that and it's, it's too real and i love it and damn like this yeah this is this is going to be great i'm looking forward to it so much <laughs> boy okay so if i made any kind of mistake in translation or something please let me know in the comment section because as i said like you know all my like you know knowledge about japanese is from the animes that i've watched i've never like you know tried to learn japanese or nothing everything that i know about japanese is like all that i have learned from watching anime and hearing anime so i might be like you know wrong in a few sections but i have my confidence i know i'm right about most of the stuff but a few stuff i might have made any mistakes if i have done so please let me know and i would have like i, I kind of searched for the subbed version but it came out so early you know like i'm reacting to it so early that there's no subbed version out so i was un unable to find it unfortunately so i'll have to like make do with this only so let me know if i made some mistake or interpreted something wrong and correct me down in the comment section so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to the second season pv of fate grand carnival uh, ova so that was an amazing experience and i'm really looking forward to the next excuse me season which is going to come out next month yeah so it's quite soon and i'm looking forward to that so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i put out fgo content um uh, one or two times in a week and you know whenever like i get some fgo content i kind of react to it be it like you know like looking at some new servants and stuff and i'm also kind of uh, playing fate extella currently and doing the normal gameplay fgo gameplay as well so i also do summoning videos when new servants come out so for those type of stuff be sure to subscribe and i'll also be linking down my fgo playlist in the description box if you want to check out a lot few other of my fgo content you can click on it i think i have like 70 or more videos on fgo currently <laughs> like i've been reacting and like you know playing fgo and making videos on fgo quite a lot so yeah it has a few stuff so if you're interested in that click on the playlist it'll go there it'll take you there so yeah so yeah guys that was it oh and comment down below as i said like you know if anything you want to say if i made any mistakes correct me in the comment section and your opinion on this and how you are i'm sure everyone's excited like because I love this teaser, uh, this PV. This is fantastic, and I'm looking forward to the episode, the whole episode, and it'll be full of like you know fourth wall breaking. And uh, yeah, fourth wall breaking is fantastic. I love whenever some anime or anything like you know fourth wall breaks con continuously. And <laughs> Fate Grand Carnival, and uh, not only Carnival, Fate Grand, uh, Fate uh, Carnival Phantasm as well. It's full of fourth wall breaking. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's as if like they keep a hammer to their side always to break the fourth wall, you know? <laughs> they, are, they have that fourth wall breaking hammer ready to just whack at the fourth wall and break it continuously. And yeah, I love these type of stuff. So looking forward to it. So that was it guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next FGO video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.